Welcome to new Fire Station 3. Come on in. So here we are in the new vestibule of Fire Station 3. We have a conference room available for use. We also have a large training room for all city uh, staff to use. When we designed the fire station, we were looking for materials that were going to stand the test of time and be low maintenance. So the flooring is vinyl and can be replaced readily. Uh, tile in the entryway is low maintenance and inexpensive. As you have full-time staff here, they're here 24-7 and they need accommodations. So we're in their day room area where they will um, watch TV but still be monitoring uh, fire calls. We also have a place for them to uh, eat, be healthy, be well. They have a custom designed table and a lot of the modern conveniences of home. What we're looking at behind me here is the training. This is called a uh, hose tower where we hang a uh, wet hose after a fire. So the hose we use at a fire, we bring it back to the station, we clean it, and then we hang it up in the hose tower. Um, so. All of our fire stations have hose towers. We just wanted to find better ways to utilize the space because it has to be there. So we combined uh, the hose tower with some training aspects and uh, we're able to uh, really come up with a great product here that allows our firefighters to train um, right here at the fire station uh, utilizing the hose tower. Uh, so as you can see behind me, they're doing some repelling out of some uh, windows. We put these anchors in into the walls uh, so they can do some tie-offs and those are spread out throughout the on this level and the levels below. We can also use those windows for ladder work, hose work, um, lots of things. So it uh, really gives us a lot of options. Uh, this is where we hang the hose. So this is all the hose tower um, and we hang our hose up here after it comes back from a fire, we clean it, hang it, and then let it dry. And then we, uh, once it's dry, then it can go back into service. One thing that we're very fortunate to have here is we have enough space for all of our trucks. Um, a lot of our stations now, um, once you're done with a run, you have to back your apparatus in, which obviously isn't the safest thing. So. This station is big enough, it allows for all of our trucks to pull through and we can keep a lot of our equipment um, indoors versus some of our other stations. We have to keep some of our stuff outdoors, which obviously isn't good um, out in the climate. You see these tubes that hook up to the trucks. Um, basically what this is, is a vehicle exhaust extraction system. So when these trucks start, um, they put off a lot of um, chemicals, which you know can also be carcinogens, what it does is, as soon as that truck starts, um, it's activated by the ignition or battery switch being turned on, and a lot of that exhaust um, gets extracted through the tubes and up out into the exterior of the building. So it's actually on a track, so once the truck starts, the truck pulls out, it gets to the end of the track, and disconnects from the truck. So that's really important um, for uh, uh, firefighter safety, wellness, and their health. Another thing that's um, we're very fortunate to have here is enough space that we actually have uh, what we uh, refer to as a gear room or somewhere where we can store our gear. Uh, at our other fire stations, um, all five of them being that we have six total, the other five, all these gear lockers, if you will, are in between the trucks. So a firefighter comes in paid on call, they get in the station, they run to their locker, and as they're putting their gear on, the trucks are going out the door literally right next to them, um, which obviously isn't the safest thing um, for our firefighters as well. We want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, we hope uh, in the near future that we'll be able to uh, have an open house and um, everyone will be welcome to come uh, once things get back to normal. Um, but at this time, uh, this is your, your tour and thanks for joining us and uh, be safe.